Now you're probably best known to audiences here for the kind of film and action roles. Now obviously, you know, we're over here, you're over in New Zealand, we'll know you from The Lord of the Rings or from The Hobbit. But you've done a lot of theatre back in New Zealand. Can you tell us about some of your theatre roles? The one I'm particularly interested in is that it seems to say you played Anne Boleyn. Yes, we have a theatre company in New Zealand called Theatre at Large who do a lot of physical based theatre and quite large um, expressive pieces using you know big props and big stage bits and they, we did a, a version of Henry VIII where we did a completely gender reversal and so I played Anne Boleyn with an Audrey Hepburn haircut, <laughs> a very high cut corset, bare chest and a lovely saffron dress and um, it was fantastic. It was the hardest thing to do playing a woman was not to camp it up, was to still keep, you know, was to still be believable as a woman but not be camp. And um, actually it was one of the biggest challenges of my career actually was to play that part and have people believe it. Um, to move in the way that a woman moves, to have the graces that a woman has and also to have the kind of, the different kind of mentality in terms of the way that women in the time approached um, power. Men seemed to have all of the power women could get power through marriage. So that was it was an interesting process as an actor to go through to kind of put yourself in a mindset in a different century but also in a different gender. I, I did find it quite difficult, it was a real challenge. But the play sold out in New Zealand, it was a, a, a very big success. And uh, I, I had one funny story. I used to have to go out of the theatre and round on the streets to come back through the audience and was approached by a couple of men thinking I was a streetwalker. <laughs>